Look at the appearance of the birds and find them to be quite gentle, but that is just perfect cover for the truth deep within them. There is no animal in the wild that is truly gentle and does not hold a grudge against other animals. The ostrich is known to be the largest and heaviest bird alive on Earth. Despite their larger size, they can run at speeds of 70 km an hour and even jump 5 meter long. With favorable terrain, the leopard also reaches speeds of 90 km an hour, so it's easy for it to catch the ostrich. High above the eagle spreading its wings slowly approached the two mounting goats on the rocky slope. The eagle's outstretched wings show just how powerful it is. Immediately aiming for the mountain goat, the eagle grabs it and drags it down the slope. Following the slope, the eagle took the mountain goat and dragged it for a long distance. The snake-eating kite is a large bird of prey, mainly living on the ground. With the advantage of long legs, it easily tramples the small rabbit under its feet, making the rabbit no longer have a way to escape. The fox is very eager to catch its prey. He did not expect that so quickly he was also in the sight of an eagle in the distance. Poor wolf has unfortunately fallen into the claws of these two golden eagles. When the wolf tried to bite his teeth at the eagle, the eagle also responded when he took the little wolf's tongue with its beak. Another mountain goat unfortunately caught the eagle's eyes. Even if he tried to hold on to the cliff, this goat could not match the strength of the eagle trying to pull it up off the cliff. With the old move, the eagle always picks up the prey to a sufficient height and then lets the prey fall freely in the air. After the free fall from that height, this mountain goat must have no hope of living anymore. Now the eagle just needs to fly down and enjoy the result. Perhaps in any species in the same flock, there is always a fight. Obviously, they could share their prey with each other, but they didn't choose that and went into battle. This is when the wolf comes and just chases the lonely eagle away and freely eats. The wolf immediately rushed over and grabbed the eagle's leg as a warning to chase the eagle away and this prey is his. The average flight speed of a bald eagle is 120 to 160 kilometers per hour. And the speed of a goat is only 40 kilometers, so it can't compete with the speed of an eagle. Perhaps this goat was less fortunate than the goats in the herd when it was pinned under the eagle's claws. Refusing to succumb to the eagle's claws, the goat always tries to run and find a way out. The goat dragged the eagle quite a distance, but it seemed that the eagle is no less competitive when it's determined to cling to its prey. The competition of endurance of these two preys will never come to an end. The lizard must have to run away because it saw the danger. No matter how fast you are, you can't escape the eagle's claws. For some reason, these little pigs don't have their mothers around. Without the mother pig by their side, these piglets are a lucrative prey for predators like eagles. It won't be difficult because these piglets are no match for the eagle. Stealing prey at the eagle's feet while walking proudly. Although smaller than a black dog, the eagle is still very aggressive and has no fear at all. It always responds fiercely to each black dog's attack.
An unfortunate red fox has come into the sights of the bold eagle. An eye-catching dive of prey from the air. With the sharp claws of an eagle, the red fox could do nothing but obediently accept its fate. Alaris Marinus is pecking at its prey with its beak. It must have been so hungry that it tilted its head and swallowed its prey whole. Can't imagine a bird that can swallow prey so fast. An eagle, when it begins to fly low, is when it's reached its target. It seems that it just wants to play with the dog below and doesn't want to catch this animal. Again, the purposeful landings of the eagle on the ground. It's too dangerous at this time, the eagle's target is a baby sitting alone in the park. Fortunately, the mother found out and the eagle released the baby before it flew any further. The eagle's visual fossa has a 1 million cones per millimeter. Because of that, the eagle's eye can see even a mouse at 1.6 kilometers away. So, it's not surprising that every time they land, their prey is always in their claws. The eagle is leisurely spreading its wings in the air. On the water, the grebes are cuddling each other. Precise water landing steals prey in a minute. It grabs its prey with one leg and can still fly so fast, the eagle is indeed a killer in the air. The white pelican is known for its distinctive long beak and large throat pouch. Once in the mouth of this bird, the prey is, looks like it's been locked in a sack with no way out, only accepting its fate. Optimistic water snake swimming in the ocean. In the air, this eagle is also probing for any prey for today. The moment this water snake comes to the surface will be a moment it regrets for most of its life. Accurate in every centimeter when the landing on water, the eagle immediately stole the water snake. Now it just leisurely steals its prey to a peaceful place to eat. It brought back its children to enjoy this prey. When this eagle lands close to the ground, I always think that they have hit the target and will kill the prey but it just came down and roamed with the little fox. The eagle is enjoying its delicious bait. From where does an uninvited guest come to confront the eagle and compete for the bait? It's true that the eagle can't resist compared to its vulture. The chickens were at peace when from the eagle flew down and landed right where the chicken's mother was standing. The eagle's target flocks of the chicks is continuously attacking towards the chicks. But since there is a mother hen here, this eagle hunt seems to be a bit difficult. So far, the hawk has always been the eternal enemy of the chicken. From where did the falcon invade the rooster's burrow? With the instinct of a mother, she decided to fight the hawk and end to protect her chicks. A swarm of fruit surrounded it, but there was nothing aggressive the eagle could do to save his friend. Even though a very brave crow pecked at the eagle's leg, the eagle just flapped its wings and they didn't care to cough. The resistance of the crow at the feet of the eagle is the resistance of the last will to survive. The eagle is still trying to keep its prey at its feet. Perhaps a war is about to break out between the king cobra and the owl. 
The snake has always been in an attacking position, just waiting for the cat to dive and the fight will officially take place. The cobra took the initiative when it attacked the owl directly. It squeezes its prey for a while and then quickly releases it. Maybe it doesn't want to take the owl's life. The helpless black fruit was targeted by an eagle from a distance. Another perfect landing from the eagle, within minutes it caught the crow. The crow is also very ferocious when he also responds fiercely, even though he is weaker. Even if they respond, it won't make a different ending for the crows. The crow kept pecking at the baby rabbit in pain, and the mother rabbit, standing next to her, wanted to rush in and save it. But in the end, because of the panic, the mother rabbit had to leave her baby and run away. The baby rabbit looked at the mother helplessly. After trying to resist, the baby rabbit still couldn't get rid of the fierce crow. Seeing that the prey was lying still, the crow pulled the prey into one of its places and enjoyed its work. Brown snake eagle is a large bird of prey and true to its name, its forte is to hunt snakes. After detecting the snake's location, the brown snake eagle quickly flew to approach its prey in the hope of getting a good meal. Contrary to the usual fear of the prey facing the hunter, the snake keeps an extremely calm attitude and calmly defends itself. By this time, the brown snake eagle has run out of patience and starts attacking its prey. It scratched the snake's body with its claws. However, the brown snake eagle that hunts brown snakes is not immune to snake venom. Hooded Crow is playing with a mouse. The mouse is not a gentle person and it gives up its attack. Continuously galloping up to attack the predator twice its size, the Hooded Crow can only dodge the attacks. After dodging for a while, the Hooded Crow waited for the right moment to attack again. When the rat lost focus, the Hooded Crow quickly grabbed the rat's tail and pulled it back. Seeing the mouse's weakness in the chasing part, Hooded Crow took advantage of this and attacked the mouse's tail, continuously dragging the mouse to become more and more panicked, no more decisive attacks on the target anymore. Even though he was tired from his best escape, the eagle's pursuit, the lizard still couldn't escape. Sea eagles circle the sky looking for their prey, and a good opportunity to target by the eagle. Not taking action, the sea eagle waits for a good opportunity to attack. Waiting for the prey to come to the surface, the sea eagle determines the correct position of the target. The sea eagle swoops down with its strong legs to grab its prey and fly to the sky. Once the prey is stolen, the sea eagle will steal to a safe place and then start enjoying the prey. Not yet attacking the two opponents, was startled away. The war is now officially started. After the rabbit's attack, it's time for the crow to attack again. When the crow attacked back, the rabbit was afraid to run into the dust. The crow approached the bush to look for the rabbit when suddenly the rabbit rushed out to attack the crow and then fled. Not giving up, the crow was still waiting for the rabbit to come out to retaliate. At this time, the rabbit just rushed out to attack. A hare rushed to the crow, causing the crow to panic. Not stopping there, when seeing the crow swooping down to the ground, the rabbit continued to pounce on the crow with delight. Seeing the crow fly up and down again, the rabbit followed each beat to beat the crow. The helpless crow cried out for help from the nearby animal, but the nearby crow did not know how to get up and it flew away despite the crow calling for help. While walking slowly, the rabbit changed its target and rushed at the crow, causing it to suddenly fly up and hide. The crow struggled to get away from the cat's teeth. 
but the cat wasn't so easy for the crow to escape. The fight may have been because the crow was the one who started it first, but the one who took the initiative was now the weaker one. With the fierce struggle of the crow, the cat still did not loosen its vigilance. It still held on to the crow. When the crow was no longer moving, the cat dragged the crow into the bushes. The mother duck and her ducklings are running around, not knowing what they're looking for when they came across a crow. The crow says this and also tries to approach the ducklings, but was quickly discovered by the mother duck and rushed to chase the crow away. Although the mother duck rushed to chase away the crow, it seemed that the crow was fearless and it continued to creep closer. Constantly being chased away by the mother duck, the crow still stubbornly refused to leave and continued to approach. The crow has no intention of giving up and it keeps coming back. The hedgehog curled into the middle of the road. It took the help of the hooded crow to run to the side of the road and stopped and curled up. The hooded crow continued to peck at the hedgehog to urge to push it out of the way. The eagle owl stood on the rock. Behind the black crow stood watching the eagle owl and taking the opportunity to peck at the owl and fly away. Although more and more crows approached, the eagle owl did not mind. They were certainly no match for him. The dog was standing and looking at the peaceful surroundings when the crow approached from the behind the dog. The dog was afraid as usual and turned to look. The crow saw the dog turn and stood dumbfounded and approached the dog. The dog saw it and jumped up to scare the crows, causing them to panic and fly away. They did not stop and continued to approach the dog but as soon as the dog jumped up, they were afraid to fly away. Repeatedly like that, I don't understand the purpose of the crows approaching the dog. In the clash between the hawk and the crow, the musket cutter used its legs to hold the crow's neck and disable its opponent. Unable to reverse the situation, the crow used its beak to cut off the hawk's legs so they would not be able to attack anymore. The hawk struggled to pull his legs out of the crow's beak, but couldn't. Try to use your wings to repeatedly hit the enemy's face to stun the hawk. But all of the attacks of the crow did not hurt the hawk at all. They just held each other tightly to prevent each other from escaping. The snake was surrounded by crows that continuously attacked the snake, taking turns to peck the snake's head. But with consecutive dissections, the snake was not detected in time to avoid it and suffered a painful incision. Seeing that the prey had gradually lost its strength, the crows worked even harder to attack the snake even more fiercely. After the good cooperation of the crows, the prey gradually lost consciousness. It no longer had any resistance, but only received the fierce attack from the crows. The snake is crawling on the green grass field. The red-tailed falcon saw the appearance of the snake, and it approached. Not intending to attack, the red-tailed falcon just approached and stood by the snake's tail. When he spotted the red-tailed falcon behind him, the snake turned around to try and bite the falcon, but fortunately the falcon evaded it. After chasing the red-tailed falcon away, it slowly crawled back to its safe place. Leopards sit looking for prey. Suddenly a lion rushes to chase it. The chase ends with the cheetah lying on the ground and the lionesses surrounding it and attacking fiercely. Competition for prey takes place again between bloodthirsty lions. The decisive attacks make the male lion gradually retreat. Not wanting to hunt, lions are just waiting to take other animals' prey. The lion risked his life to climb the tree to steal food from the leopard on the treetops. Due to the heavy weights, the branch couldn't bear it and broke, and the two fell together.
Unlike other predators, leopards hunt during the day. Another lion was walking when he saw the silhouette of a leopard. The lion approached. He was about to make a surprise attack but was discovered by the leopard hunter. Leopards were very agile and it jumped to scare the lion and took the opportunity to avoid the lion and escape. The lightning clashes show that the lion has proved the strength of the Lord of the Jungle when he easily defeats the leopard. So when lost among lions, cheetahs just lie obediently. It's just waiting for the lions to lose focus to find a way to escape. A baboon is walking around, sharp eyes looking at it without taking their eyes off. The hunt seems to be about to take place. The situation is reversed. The hunter who is chased by the prey flees in fear. Mother and daughter are eating, lying down and playing together. When they see the hyenas, the leopards rush to bite each other with the hyenas. The fight ended quickly. The weaker hyena ran away. A leopard is eating its prey on a treetop. The lion saw that the prey was delicious and tried to jump up to the tree to take the prey. After struggling for a while, the lion still couldn't climb up to the leopard. Seeing that he could not climb, the lion had to helplessly leave. An escape attempt had failed. Using all his strength to jump up the tree, the leopard was still caught by the nimble lions and pulled down. Just like superheroes, Black Panthers are fiction. Dark fur helps nocturnal predators have good camouflage. Black Panthers will often sneak up on their prey, sprinting briefly to pounce, kill and knock down their enemy. An angry leopard approaches the hyena's prey. The hyena saw this and came to bite the leopard and the two fought fiercely. After the fight, the hyena left and another leopard came to take the spoils successfully. Leopards lie on trees to observe their prey. The antelopes were targeted by leopards. Very quickly, the leopard flew down to the correct position of the antelope and finished the prey with a single bite. When the prey is motionless, the leopard will pull the prey to a safe place and enjoy. Seeing the lion coming towards him, the leopard doesn't seem to care much. Even though the lion approached, the leopard fell asleep. Very carefully, step by step to the leopard, it does not know what the lion is planning. jump up to approach the leopard, but haven't acted yet, the leopard wakes up and attacks first. Can you guess which predator will win? The mother lion takes her cubs to hunt. But was accidentally targeted by leopards. The mother lion seems to sense the danger coming to her cubs. 
he took his baby into the grass to avoid that danger. Leopards have come very close to the lion cub waiting for the right time. When the mother lion loses concentration, the leopard rushes in and steals a cub. Having caught the target, the leopard jumps up the tree to keep safe. Due to the negligence of the mother lion, the cub became the prey of the leopard. The mother lion screams in pain. A beautiful dance of the leopard, but unlucky for it not to catch the prey. Antelopes are engrossed in eating grass under the tree. From the top of the leopard tree, it rushes down to catch the prey very quickly. The jaguar suddenly jumped out of the bushes to attack its prey. One is standing on the shore and one is diving into the water to look for traces of the prey. Soon their prey was discovered and the jaguars started to act. This capybara is also extremely intelligent. It dives into the water to avoid the pursuit of predators. But in the end, it was still forced to swim two bloodthirsty leopards. Another war for food between hyenas and leopards. After the hyena's fierce butt made the leopard panic even more, unable to attack again. The hyena gives the leopard an extra powerful charge, causing the cheetah to run away. Once it sniffed the prey near it, the leopard galloped towards the antelope. Very quickly, it caught its prey. It pulls its prey ashore and pulls it to a safe place to avoid it being plundered by other predators. But inevitably, the sensitivity with what nature and stealing other animals' food, very quickly, the hyenas are present. The hyena is rushing very fiercely and is probably very hungry. But it seems that it was bitten by the leopard, so it didn't come close and just watched from afar. Discovering on the tree that there is a food of the leopard, the lion tries to jump up and steal the food. When he saw the lion climbing, the leopard did not want to argue, so he gave up the food and climbed to a higher branch to take shelter. Watching lions eat deliciously, the leopard is full of regret. When the lion's stomach is full, he slowly leaves. A leopard has already ambushed the tree, an unknowing antelope has approached the ambush place. Immediately, the leopard jumped down to grab the prey, despite trying to struggle, but it seemed to be ineffective. Adia Goliath mainly lives in the water. It usually hunts by standing in shallow water, observing the water at its feet. When prey appears, Adia Goliath quickly stabs it with its wide jaws, shrinks its neck and rushes out to capture its prey. Summarize the prey and it's brought ashore to prepare to make its spoils. Then suddenly, an uninvited guest rushes to snatch its prey away. The woodpecker is trying to chase the predator out of its nest. After painful bites, the woodpecker still tried to pounce on the snake's body. But unfortunately for him, when he tried his best, he was still defeated by the snake. 
the kites are waiting for their mother to bring back food. Mother hawks begin the hunt. They use their sharp eyes to observe the ground. It is their sharp eyes, claws and sharp beak that help the hawk quickly catch the prey. The owl is a species that lives in the north, with very quick observational agility that helps it to identify its target. Once the location of the target has been determined without hesitation, it finishes off the prey. When it's caught the prey, it takes the prey and flies back to the nest. Roadrunner is looking for prey. There's movement in the dust. Baby Mouse is unlucky bush made it delicious prey. The snake took the opportunity to bite the flower kite without focusing on it. Unlucky for snakes, before they could bite, the flower kite easily pressed down on its neck with its legs. The snake is slowly approaching the poor young birds. It's quickly reached the nest. This hunt seems to be too easy for him without any obstacles. The mother bird realized the danger and started to counterattack, but it didn't work. The snake left with a full stomach when suddenly it was attacked. The predator has now become the prey. In the cold weather, a snowy owl is standing on a tree branch hunting for prey. They watch and wait in style. When the ball shows prey, they will fly to grab their prey with their sharp claws. A snake curled up on the ground. Roadrunner is hunting for prey. When it sees its prey, it comes to crouch to follow the prey. Gently step by step, but still be discovered and threatened by the prey. That's why the Roadrunner left. Because the heron's hungry stomach is already working hard to hunt, the first few times may be unlucky. Without wasting any effort, it finally caught the big prey. The falcon is watching its eggs. The uninvited guest is slowly approaching the falcon. Seeing the danger, the falcon spread its wings, ready to fight. Unlucky for the snake, when he first bit his head, he was easily dodged by the falcon. Not stopping there, the snake continued to rush up. A single kick of the falcon's legs sent the snake out of sight. The sharp eyes and steady steps of the shoebills prepare to attack their prey. When he saw the opening of the prey, the shoebill immediately rushed to capture it perfectly. A bald eagle stands on the tree branch to observe its prey. Its main food is fish. Its extremely good eyesight allows it to detect fish, even on sunny days, by the fact that its eyes. Having identified the target, the predator swoops down to grab the fish out of the water. A hind claw on each foot pierces the fish's body, making it difficult for the fish to escape. Rabbit is trying to run away from the eagle's chase. 
After the pounces, the rabbit fortunately dodged. Looks like it's out of luck this time as the eagle has dived at high speed and decisively caught it. Use your legs to squeeze to kill your prey. Seeing the python approaching its egg, the falcon took a fighting stance. The danger was approaching, the falcon struck first. The blood of the predator made this falcon fear and gradually backed down and fell. The snake that lies on the ground must be looking for a safe place to molt. The eagle's sharp talons will certainly be a great danger to snakes. Seeing the target eagle fly down and carefully observing the surroundings. When approaching the prey, the eagle discovered that there were many snakes around him. The snakes around seemed to be indignant at the appearance of the eagle. The eagle spread its wings to threaten the snake. Using his sharp claws and beak to catch and knock down the prey. An owl standing on a tree branch waiting for the sunset to come and hunt. Sharp eyes look at their prey without taking their eyes off it. The mouse was busy looking for food, not knowing that there were sharp eyes looking at him. When the time comes, the owl swoops down to grab the prey accurately and flies up the tree branch to enjoy the prey. Herons usually feed in shallow water. It hunts by standing and observing, using its long and pointed beak to skewer its prey. The war is between the warblers and the snakes. The confrontation seems to be balanced. I don't understand what the snake teased the warbler that it didn't want to ignore. Constantly pecking at snakes, causing the snakes to die. The mother ostrich is diligently taking care of her newly hatched eggs. The leopard is trying to climb the tree. It intends to get a better look at the ostriches in the distance. Observing enough, the leopard also slowly approached the ostrich's direction. The leopard's calculation is very careful. It looks at the ostrich's direction every now and then. The leopard starts to accelerate when the wall will start to explode and it's the one who initiates it. With the incredible speed of both species, it's enough to see this speed fight unfold with great drama. They just keep chasing each other. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. All you've got to do is hit the like button and subscribe so that we can ensure that we can bring you the best videos every single day. Thanks so much for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya!